Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are playing in their sixth straight conference championship game, but they are four-point underdogs at the Baltimore Ravens. So what best bet can we find in this game? I am Andy from wagertalk.com, breaking down the Chiefs and the Ravens. We're looking at the Wager Talk live odds page, and it looks like the total is holding steady at 44. Chiefs have moved up to plus four, so it uh, doesn't look like there's any three and a halfs out there at the time of recording. So looks like we're going to enter game time with the Ravens minus four, Chiefs plus four. And the weather looks like it is going to be rainy. I always use Roto Grinders as uh, my go-to for NFL weather. They're saying 85% chance rain. So looks like we're going to get some rainy, wet conditions in this game. So who do we like? Well, you're looking at a Baltimore Ravens who come in off of a very dominant win, especially in the second half against Houston Texans. And you've got the Chiefs who beat the uh, Buffalo Bills but only had the ball 22 minutes and 57 seconds in that game. That was a Buffalo Bills team that dominated the time of possession, yet the Chiefs just find a way to, to squeeze out these wins, especially against Josh Allen. So when we're looking at this game, you've got rainy weather conditions. You've got a, a Ravens team that is going to have Mark Andrews back. And you've got a Chiefs team that has been there, done that, and just knows how to pull out these wins. So... What are we looking at for this game? Well, if you guys could please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Tell me what your best bet is. Uh, I would appreciate it. It really helps the algorithm out. I will make this quick. I think the Ch Kansas City Chiefs covered this game, and I would not be surprised if they won this game outright. Four points is way too many points for an Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes team. They were underdogs last week against the Buffalo Bills. Not only did they cover, but they win, and they just they just know these situations. And there's a couple of other things about this Baltimore Ravens team. Um, when you got rain and you got this bad these this bad weather conditions, I, I I don't want to call it the ultimate equalizer, but it just kind of throws a little bit of a wrench into these into these games. And there's a couple games that the Baltimore Ravens played in rainy conditions. And the first one is a game early in the season against Indianapolis Colts. They lost that game in overtime, 22 to 19. A game that they were favored in, a game that they should have won, and they ended up losing. That was a Gardner Minshew start. Later in the year, they went to overtime against a Rams team. They won by six points on a punt return. That game was 37-31 at home to the Rams in rain. So they've played two rainy games this year. Both of them have gone to overtime. One of them they won on a punt return, and the other one they lost. Uh, I'm not willing to lay points on a Baltimore Ravens team that has struggled to win games in regulation against the Rams and against the Colts. So I'm going to take the Chiefs gladly with plus four. Uh, a couple player props that I'm interested in this game. Rasheed Rice, I saw his receptions total is six and a half. I would take the under on that with rainy conditions. I think this is going to be a pretty tough game for receivers to have a ton of uh, ton of catches. So if you like his yards, I could see his yards going over. But to get to seven receptions seems like a lot. And I do like Lamar Jackson over 10 and a half rush attempts. We saw he had 11 attempts last week. And then you look at Lamar, and uh, in that game against the uh, Rams, he had 11 attempts. In the game against Colts, he had 14. That was his highest rushing total. So we've seen the two rainy games. Lamar Jackson runs the ball quite a bit. Um, if you would take his yards, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be uh, be. I wouldn't tell you that was a bad bet. We saw Josh Allen have 12 rush attempts for 72 yards last week. So I think there's some value in some of those player props. Rasheed Rice under his receptions and Lamar Jackson over his rush attempts. No opinion on the total of the game at 44, but I do like getting four points in a rainy, kind of a messy game. That could come down to a last-second possession. So if I'm getting over a field goal, I will happily take that, especially if I've got Patrick Mahomes as my quarterback and Andy Reid as my coach. So that is the official best bet. We have a really nice promo code for everybody. If you want to use the promo code ACCESS7, it gets $30 off a seven-day pass. It includes all sports, all NFL plays, NHL plays, which I'm having my best NHL season ever. I'm over 65% for the season. I'm on a 20-8 and eight run right now. All these plays are going to be included as well as golf and any other sports that we have. So I encourage you to take advantage of that at wagertalk.com. It's going to do it for us. Good luck in all your plays. I'm rooting for you, and we will see everyone next video.